Today, the 24th day of the month of Shvat, is the Yorzai, the Hilul of the Rebbe's Menuche Rochel Slonim, the granddaughter of the Alter Rebbe. And I would like to spend a few moments just and find out a little bit about her life, her accomplishments. Ironically, on the very same day where the Alter Rebbe was released from prison on the 19th day of the month of Kislev in the year 1798, Menuche Rochel was born to the Alter Rebbe's son, the Mittel Rebbe, the Dubar, and she was named Menuche Rachel. Menuche meaning bring some tranquility. And Rachel, after a young daughter of the Alter Rebbe had passed away. The Alter Rebbe was very committed to support the Jewish community that immigrated to Eretz Yisrael. And in 1815, the son of the Alter Rebbe, the Mittel Rebbe, decided to strengthen the community in Hebron. He bought a synagogue over there. He bought some land to help out the community there. Rebbe Tzmenuch Rachel always had a tremendous desire to move to Eretz Yisrael. But unfortunately, she fell ill with a very dangerous illness. But her father gave her a blessing and assured her she will get well, she will live a long life, and she will marry to immigrate to heaven, to Eretz Yisrael. And indeed, at the age of 47, in 1845, she left Russia and moved to Eretz Yisrael. But that was the winter time. She was afraid to undertake the trip in this weather because of her frail health. So she seeked the advice and the blessing of her cousin, who then became the Rebbe de Tzemach Tzedek. And he told her, travel, don't worry, rain, don't worry, you will be traveling between the drops. And in fact, the wagon driver who drove the Rebbe and her entire entourage with her husband, Rabbi Yaakov Kulislavim, related that on that part of the trip where he drove with her, with them, there was not a drop of rain that fell on his wagon. The way back, he says, was catastrophe. It's getting stuck in mud and rain, etc. When he finally arrived to Hebron, it was an interesting, fitting completion of the cycle. The Alter Rebbe was arrested for supporting this community, and now the Rebbe Tzmenuch came physically to be there and strengthened the community, and indeed strengthened the community she did. She was considered the matriarch of the Hasidic community for piety, for her wisdom, for her knowledge. Everybody came to seek her advice. Rabbis, simple people, even the Havdal, the Arabs, came to ask for advice and her blessings. Many children are named after her because they were born from her blessings. A particular story is told. As we know that Hebron was always, and unfortunately still is, a place of tremendous hatred towards the Jewish community, including the infamous massacre in 1927, where 67 or 69 Jewish people were murdered cold-bloodedly by the hands of the Arab neighbors. One particular gang was called the Black Hand. They were extremely painful to the Jewish community, causing constantly suffering. One day, the wife of the leader of this uh, group came begging for a blessing. His wife is in labor and the mother and baby are in danger. Please, Rabbitson, bless us. And she said to him very clearly, if you promise, you will stop hurting the Jewish community, your wife and baby will be well. He swore, and everything turned out well. By the time he came back home, wife had given birth, and the baby and mother was fine. And indeed, he kept his word. From that moment on, he stopped hurting and causing pain to the Jewish community. In the year 1888, on the 24th day of the month of Shvat, at the age of 90, as the blessing of her father was, she passed away. 
She was buried in Hebron. Hebron was destroyed numerous times. But finally, in 1982, they uncovered the original resting place of the Rebbe Tzmenuch Rochel and many other sites in, the, in Hebron. The Rebbe then asked a special memorial ceremony should be held. And since the Chabad community of Hebron, with the Jewish community of Hebron, have established a yeshiva called Koilel Menuchel Rochel, where people constantly study over there. So, Ebishter, Menucha, tranquility, please bring us the ultimate Menucha with Mashiach in Yerushalayim today.